Hey guys, this is Jackie, your Nerdy Crafter, and welcome to another Mail Monday. So I have three subscription boxes and two mega boxes. So I'm going to unbox first the subscription boxes because the last few videos I was always unboxing them last, so I figured I'd switch things around a little bit. Now I have a 1UP box and a Loot Crate, and those I am affiliated with, so if you want to check the links <laughs> in the description box below, of course if you do sign up and use my coupon code or my link, you are supporting my partnership with them. That is no surprise whatsoever. And then the third box I got is from Japan, Japan's Crate. <laughs> Japan, Japan Crate. Woo! <laughs> Japan Crate. There you go. Wow. Japan's Crate. Doki Doki. And it's supposed to be like a monthly subscription, subscription box that <laughs> I think it's going to be pretty painful talking today. A monthly subscription box that sends really cute things. So I'm going to show you guys what's in there as well. Actually, you know what? Let's let's start with that because cute things are, are pretty fun. So I'm going to open it. So I already took I was gonna say took the knife to it. That sounded really bad. So I already already opened everything. And I just might as well talk to you guys like this. This is pretty bad. Um so I already opened everything ahead of time, but I didn't look inside but of course once you open a box and the first thing you see is a cute little kitty cat Rilakkuma that has a bell it's a little hard to not look at so I actually looked at this beforehand so this is really cute because it has a suction so that means it's perfect for a car so I might I might put this in the car if the cats don't steal it from me and decide to play with it because it's too cute and I really don't want them taking it away Next is a Hello Kitty blind box. And so there's some really cute Hello Kitty figures. I would love to get this one here. It's kind of like a bad bad boy Hello Kitty. <laughs> That's not a bad boy. It's like, I guess, hip-hop version of Hello Kitty. So I don't know what's in there. Okay, I, I see, like, blonde hair. So obviously it's not the hip-hop one. Oh, it's like the Marilyn Monroe one. No, that is so cute. <laughs> Hang on, let me show you guys because I'm, like, appreciating it all by myself and she's cute. Was she even on the box? Yes, so the one I got is this little cutie right here. She's so cute and I'm just... Okay, I'm just gonna... Good thing I always have a spot to put bags and garbage for recycling. So here she is and she even has like a little beauty mark. How cute is that? Let me put her on her stand. Come on Hello Kitty. There you go. Look at that. No, did you... Look at her little butt! She has a little tail sticking out of her little... her little undies. Tail sticking out of the undies. That's... I think that's enough looking, guys. I'm gonna put her over here. That's really cute. I like, I like special edition kind of mixing. And if this isn't cute, I don't know what is. I love characters wearing other characters as costumes. It almost sounded bad right there. I almost thought, like, you know, some depiction of like people, cavemen wearing like bears, but that's not that's not the case. They didn't they didn't kill the other Pokemon and wear them. That would be really dark. So this is a costume. It's not not the caveman and the bear thing. This is a cute little Pikachu wearing Charizard, right? I think it is Charizard as a costume. I really like this box because I think I'm gonna keep this. This is really sturdy. I'm like going all I'm I'm, I'm interrupting myself. If you think people interrupting you is annoying, wait until you interrupt yourself. This box is full of things. Like, I don't think I'm even halfway through. Next, we have a cute little Totoro plushie. Oh my goodness, they're so... <gasps> that is so soft! Guys, you can't feel this, but... Wow, this is made of, like... I don't know, the material might be dreams? Dreams or or feelings? That's That's probably the material they used. It's really soft because emotions are fragile, so this is... Soft. This is, this is what it's made of. <laughs> Don't listen to me today. I'm completely out of whack, but this is really soft. I'm not kidding. Okay, this I have to really hide from my cats because they're definitely... I think this is a mistake. They sent me two of the alpaca. Alpacaso. I got two little coin purses, and the detail on that, a cute little heart for a zipper. This is a cute little coin purse. That's adorable. I'm supposed to get a really cute bag in the mail soon and I think I'll use one and then give one to my friend Miriam. I she loves cute things so I'm gonna give her one of these. And then 
an eye mask and a googly eye mask from I think one yes one a box uh, a few months ago had a boo mask for I think it was for Halloween sleeping mask so I have two of them if ever I do a um, blind craft challenge not blind blindfolded whew, blindfolded clay challenge I might use I think the boo one just because it's way dweebier so I think I have that and then there's a really cute Totoro pencil case man this box has a lot of stuff in there I'm gonna leave all the information for it in the description box below I am NOT affiliated so obviously don't feel I love the details don't feel any kind of pressure for any of them even if I am affiliated guys don't don't feel any kind of pressure this is super cute I love this I'm obsessed with pencil pencil cases lightly and oh, yeah, what's that? oh my goodness wow this box is seriously amazing there's a Totoro calendar included in here. Wow. Okay, I'm opening this. I just want to I want to show you guys and I want to see what the inside looks like. So let me take this out. Okay, so this is like a desk calendar. Let me. Okay, so it's a desk calendar. Look at that. And then the inside is gorgeous. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is great quality. Wow, this is absolutely gorgeous. So this is gonna go, you know what, this is gonna go on my crafting desk. Because it's gorgeous. So the images are in there are absolutely fantabulous. I'm gonna put this here. And, okay, so they have, of course, like most subscription boxes, they have the little magazine that comes with it. So I'm gonna put that here. And they sent a candy kit that I feel like I'm hoarding. And I have no idea what this is, but I'm going to have to try it out. You know what? I'll try it out in my vlog. By the way, if you guys haven't seen my vlog channel, make sure you check it out. It's just me doing everyday things, and it would mean so much to me if you guys, after watching this, or if you want to continue watching part of me not being able to talk sometimes, head on over there. It's a little bit of like the behind the, behind the scenes of uh, just my daily kind of life. So I'll leave the link for that in the description box below in that little eye thing that appears, kind of like a circle thing. So that is it for uh, Doki Doki box from Japan Crate, and I'll leave all the information for that. It is It was really seriously full of amazing things. You know what, I think I might actually subscribe to it, because the stuff in there is really, really cute and pretty good quality, so I'm going to actually look into it more for myself too. Alright, so next to one up box and Loot Crate. All right, so I'm going to open up the one-up box. <laughs> okay, this is adorable. You guys know how much I love Kirby because he's just so cute and really dangerous. So looks are extremely deceiving. This is like a full-on good quality plushie. So this is a really cool piece. It's an official Nintendo thing. So this is really cute. I'm going to put him probably with the rest of my rest of my plushies. A lot of you think that my crafting hat is Kirby, but it's not. This is a pouring, which is a slime monster, and this is a dangerous fluff ball. So Kirby's gonna go here, keep me company. And one of box has usually the, ooh la la, amazing t-shirts. So this is a Mega Man cross. I love, I love Mega Man. This is such a cool t-shirt. If you guys ever want to be frustrated, I think one of the best games to play, if you really want to get yourself rattled, is Mega Man. I think go for any of them that are on the Nintendo, because that's going to really <laughs> bring out some emotions you never thought were in there. It's such a hard game, but when you finish it, you feel so rewarded. So, yeah. Next is a Jake arm armband? Wristband. Not an armband. So we have a wristband for when you're... I guess doing some, I'm telling you guys, things are just not working. So like push-ups and sit-ups to keep your wrist kind of really intact so you don't hurt yourself. Um, and you want to look cool at the same time. So I'm going to put this back in here because I know exactly who's going to like this and I don't want to be the first to wear it. Next we have, can you guys see it? Oh, I don't know if you guys can see it. A Spider-Man emblem necklace. And this is a one-up box exclusive. I'm just curious as to what the theme is because it seems like the theme is adventure. No, I'm wrong. The theme is transform. So of course it makes sense. So I mean Spider-Man transforms. 
Kirby transforms, Jake transforms into all sorts of things, and Mega Man, depending of course on what your power is, you can switch in between them to battle the different bosses in the different stages, and these better be decals or stickers. Stickers. That is so cool, because on the side of my desk, my new desk, I started to actually put stickers on the side, uh, just to give my desk a bit of a personality, and I keep getting all these cool stickers from the subscription boxes, and I'm like, they're too big for resin, but I want to use them. So, of course, all of these transform you into pretty something pretty cool. So I'm pretty happy with that. And, oh, that is so cool. A tattoo. Now, I'm not quite sure <laughs> where I would wear any of these tattoos, because they're way, it's, well, it says to put them, no, not on the hand, because I think that's way bigger, <laughs> way bigger. Oh, maybe, no, it's way too big for my hands. Maybe on the back or on my thigh. But then again, like, I don't know, they're, they're a little too big. So that was everything for 1UP Box. I'm just going to put things here in an organized way, because if you look at my vlog, you'll see that I had a lot of help cleaning my craft room, and I want to keep it that way, because feels good to have a craft room that is pretty clean. It's not fully organized yet because that is a whole other beast, but it's clean. It's I can move around without having to twist and turn and injure myself. So let's look at Loot Crate. And Loot Crate's theme, this for... Bleh, <laughs> I can't even talk. So Loot Crate's theme for this month, month, this month, is dead. So obviously with the new Deadpool movie that just came out, it is... My brother already claimed this, so I know he saw it on someone else's video. Thanks. <laughs> so he's like, I'm claiming one of the things in your loot crate. And I agreed before I actually saw it, so he gets to keep this. And But it is a loot crate exclusive, so he's getting a good end of the deal Whoop. for this. And it's super, super cool. Let me open it. Of course there's tape. I'm like trying to pull against the tape, and now I need a cutter. So here's the cutter. So my brother's not going to be the first. Look at that. So here is Deadpool and this really cool explosion. If you guys haven't seen the Deadpool movie, make sure that you have your parents' permission if you are underage because it's not kid-friendly at all. So I've seen some parents uh, at the movie theater, I think with kids like seven years old, and I'm like, ooh, not a good idea. So. I'm pretty sure they weren't very um, happy. Because <laughs> I think everywhere around the world, Deadpool is 18 plus. But for some reason, here in Quebec, it's like only 13 plus. But some people anyways brought seven-year-olds. I don't know. Don't ask. But it was uh, definitely not for kids. And the t-shirt, of course. Deadpool themed. Look at that. Oh, and it's like a crossover. Tacos. <laughs> It's not crossover, but it's it's hilarious. I just is it a cross? No, it's, he's just weird. So we have Deadpool shirt, which is really cool, and the material is super light. This is perfect for summer. So the other T-shirt was a heavier material from One Up Box, and this one is a lighter, fluffier one, which is great for really hot summers, especially here. We get really high humidity, so it's not that cool. And of course, you can't have Dead without Walking Dead. And I think these are like chibi style. North American chibi style, and it also it is also a loot crate exclusive. I think I'm gonna open this, and obviously I think everyone hopes for Daryl because Daryl is a pretty cool, pretty cool person. And who do I get? No. Well, I can't say no because, ugh, why 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 am I forgetting his name? This is Wong. Like I shouldn't be forgetting his name. It's the main character, guys. Of course I know Coral. I know it's no, it's I know it's. Oh my goodness, I can't remember the name now. I keep saying Coral. <laughs> Carl! I keep saying Coral because every one of the memes that's really terrible puns online just... It says Coral. And in my head it's like Coral. These are like really chibi, North American chibi styles. And the heads are just gigantic. I don't know why, but North American chibis kind of scare me. Because the heads are huge. Even though regular chibis, like Japanese chibis, have gigantic heads. It's cute. But I find like North American chibis kind of scary. Maybe it's just me. And we have the Loot Crate button. And recently they've changed their buttons from like just circle uh, regular buttons to really custom buttons, which are really cool. So 
I mean, collecting these makes that even more so special, which I think is pretty cool. And since I've been dabbling a lot with soap, <laughs> this one is kind of funny because it's also a Walking Dead Ear Collection soap bar. I wonder what they smell like. So it was Daryl's soap, uh, Daryl's ear collection. I don't know if they smell like anything, but let's let's take a w quick whiff. It smells like chocolate. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I'm not sure. It smells like chocolate, like chocolate wafer. But maybe it's just me because it's brown, and then I associate it with like chocolate or wafer. <laughs> My mind is just playing tricks on me. So this is what we have. And then of course the catalog that explains everything. And of course. Loot Crate. We can't appreciate it without looking at the box. So the box is really cool, zombie themed on the inside, and these make really great dioramas if you guys have figurines. And I do have Walking Dead figurines, and I'm just a little disappointed with them because they're about, they're much smaller than my other figurines. So most of my figurines are like five and a half inches, and these ones are about four, so they can't really interact with my other toys, and that's like a big bummer. All right, so now let's move on to some of your boxes. And as I said, these are two really big boxes, and I want to show them off to you guys. And the first box is from Angela. So it's a really ginormous <laughs> box. And I opened it, and everything was right there. And she sent me stuff last time I had a Mail Monday. So I wanted to show you guys. She also sent me crochet stuff. So this time, some more crochet stuff, but much bigger than last time so here so that explains why the box is gigantic look at this huge ice cream cone this must have taken a long time i mean look at the quality of the stitching stitching with that is that what we call or, or the stitching for crochet i'm not, not quite sure but my guess is stitching uh, i could be completely wrong so we have a huge ginormous ice cream cone that is really nicely stuffed, so I'm, I just want to keep it away from the cats. I'm like, where do I put it? So I'm going to put it here, because the door is closed, so they can't really come in. And I did read the note, and Angela was asking about Etsy. I think Etsy is a really great medium, medium? Uh, website for... Oh, this is like a, a giraffe dragon. It's a green giraffe, and the tail is super, super cute. Oh, I love the face and the cheeks. Angela, this is adorable. I'm calling it a giraffe dragon, even if it's not a dragon at all. It's just, I love the color on this. So get back to what I'm saying. I think Etsy is a really good place for a lot of people, but the important thing is you have to make sure that you have like a Facebook and an Instagram because self-promotion is really the key to being able to sell. Otherwise, it's going to be hard to find you. So make sure you have both an Instagram and a Facebook and constantly post on it so that people can actually find you a lot more easily. <laughs> no, <laughs> look at that. A chomper hat. Of course we can't. There we go. Look, my hair is actually cooperating with me. So it actually gets really warm. So let's see if I can put this on. Oh, my head is so squished. I think, I think, <laughs> I think my head is too big for this. I might have to stretch it out a bit. Because this is super cute. I just have to stretch. I was going to say stretch my head, but I don't think I should be stretching my head. <laughs> And here we have a chomper. Look at that. There's also the chains. That is really cool. How did you... I don't know anything about crocheting because I'm not very good at it, but these links are pretty cool. And the hat, I think, is <laughs> a little small. I feel like... I feel like a potato <laughs> with, with a hat. The hats are too small for me. I'll have to find... I know a couple of kids who will probably enjoy playing around with this, so... It will be loved. It will have a home. <laughs> and then, I don't know what character this is. Mm, do you guys know what character this is? Because I feel like I know who this is, but I have no clue. I'm going to just put my Magikarp back on, because <laughs> Magikarp needs to eat, so my head is the food. Tell me, guys, what character that person is. And then we have a delicious cherry pie. You've gotten so much better. Like, already you were amazing the last package you sent me, but your skills have really improved so much. And there's one more thing in the box. <laughs> Look at this little bob -omb. It even has the wind-up in the back. That is super adorable. I think I'm going to put this guy next to my window because I'm going to have to put some more decorations near the window. That is super cute. Look at that. 
Thank you so much, Angela. Now, I'm just checking here. Oh, see, that's what I thought. Okay, I just looked at the other part of the uh, of the note. So I, I was sure that it was a Pikmin character, but I didn't want to just say Pikmin. But yeah, the red hat is a Pikmin character, and everything else I got, except for the giraffe. She wrote giraffe, but I'm pretty sure it's a dragon giraffe. You made a mistake. <laughs> so Angela, I don't have any information. You didn't leave any of your information on the note. So make sure, like, in the comment section, in the, like, in the comment section below, like, you know, whatever, leave your information. <laughs> Where did that come from? So in the description, in the comment section below, <laughs> leave me your information so that way I can put it in the description box. All right, so on to the next gigantic box. Here is, oh, here's the next ginormous box, and this one is from Francesca. I'm just gonna put it here before I bump, bump things. Okay, so Francesca sent this really huge box, and everything is wrapped, but not everything is wrapped, but some of the things are wrapped, so I just kind of unraveled them without really looking. And the first thing is a candle holder that she decorated. Let me take everything out. Is that wax? I'm not quite sure. What is the... What is this decorated with on the inside? This is super, super pretty. So we have a cute little candle holder. I'm going to put that here with the fragile stuff. And there's a whole box that says polymer clay. Now, all of them were individually wrapped, but again, I went through all of them just un individually, un in just unwrapped them all. And I didn't look at them, so I just unwrapped them and put them in without really looking. So I'm going to show you guys what's inside. Whoop. Okay, so the first thing is a eaten an eaten cookie what's it say it's a tea bag holder so you put this on the edge of your cup and it holds well obviously this is not a cup but you put it on the edge of your cup and it holds the <laughs> it holds the tea bag so this is a cute little cookie i'm gonna put it here and then we have another cute little cookie and i don't know if you guys can hear him but this is ramsey's he's not making any noise anymore there he is. <laughs> He's looking for me and I feel really bad and but I'm not I'm not gonna let him I'm not gonna give in. And then there's kind of like a rock candy lollipop. I love the color on this. This is like um I think I know this is a um like a I think this color is called Jade from Fimo. I love the effects on that, but I just I'm not a big fan of Fimo clay. Because it takes forever to condition and I just don't have that kind of patience. And then we have an ice cream. <laughs> we have an ice cream with chocolate and I think these are like chocolate sticks so that looks delicious I had vanilla ice cream the other day and it's super yummy and then there's a steampunk jar look at that steampunk is so cool because it's so distinct from a lot of styles and I don't know can you guys see very well I'm just gonna move the light a little more this way I think it should help with some of the stuff and then we have a chocolate with a kind of raspberry Coolie. Does that even make sense? So raspberry topping. And another chocolate. This one is a truffle. Yummy truffle. I think there's more chocolates in here. What's this one? Uh, an almond chocolate. The almond is so well done. Mmm. That looks so good. Now I want chocolate. And there's no chocolate. And what's this? And then we have cotton candy. <laughs> we have a cute little... Hang on, focus. There we go. We have a cute little cotton candy. Oh wait, I missed one more chocolate. So there is, I think this is a salty chocolate, like grain of, grains of salt. I love sweet and salty things. Which are your favorite sweet and salty things? Because mine, I think mine would be like chocolate covered pretzels. The saltier the pretzel and the more milky the chocolate, the better. And we have some pancakes. Are these waffles? Pancakey, like waffly pancakes. They look so good. With some chocolate syrup right on top and down an octopus jar I love when you guys do the decoration on the outside of the jar because I usually do the decorations on the inside and we have a loaf of bread in a bag a bagged bread or is that toast it's either a loaf or a toast and oh there's some of them that I actually didn't unwrap so let me unwrap them with you and let's find out what's in there. Oh, that's so cute. So carrots in a bag. 
to go with the bread. It's real shopping. And one more that is, come on, no, this is like so tight. You guys always do this to me. You tightly, tightly wrap them <laughs> really, really hardcore. So it takes me, that's why I unwrap them first so that the filming, there we go. And then we have like a brioche bread, a braided bread. Do you guys call them braided bread? I think that's what it's called. Okay, so that is it for the uh, charm box. I'm going to put this over here. And then I saw this. It's a notebook. And I thought it was really cool because of the front. I know I cheated on this one. Because the front, I think, is um, chalk. So I can write on it with chalk. But then here's the cool part. Look at that. You have all your sticky notes on the inside. So when you're taking notes, you have them really at your disposal. So how cool is that? That was really such a cool idea for a notebook. I hadn't thought of this at all. Then again, I'm not that clever sometimes. So this is, oh, let's think. Okay, they're glued together. That is super cool. So this notebook idea is really awesome to have all the notebook, all the um, post-it notes super handy. So I'm going to put that there. And then there was something else that is kind of like, no. Okay, so we're having this cute little frame that is nicely decorated. And again, chalkboard. So I can put like little notes or reminders in case I forget things, which has been happening a lot, a lot lately. <laughs> so this will come in handy for sure. And there was something super heavy and it is kind of like a dessert, but it smells like crayons. I don't even know what is this made with. So Francesca, you're going to have to tell me what this is made with. And she's starting, she's thinking of starting a channel but she hasn't given any of the information at all yet. So Francesca, if you're watching this, if you did open a channel, let me know so that I can also put it in the description box, but this looks super delicious. And I don't know if it's a, if it's a soap or what is it? You have to let me know too, because that looks really cool. And I have no idea. It looks really cool for decoration, but I'm not sure <laughs> what exactly it's for because I want to use it if it's soap, that's for sure. And then this cute necklace of different seashells and just shells in general and it's super super mega colorful this must have oh, I think one of them fell <laughs> this must have taken forever to make because they're so tiny and the twine is really really slim so to go through all of these must have taken you a really long time so that's pretty cool and then there's this box that says eat me oh my goodness this smells like Halloween Look at that, guys. So there's all these different candies. This really smells like, I don't know, if Halloween had a smell, this would smell like Halloween. So all these cool chocolates, because you tempted me with chocolates, and now I'm like salivating. And these are my favorite. I love Laffy Taffy banana flavor. You can't get more delicious than that for taffy. Banana flavored Laffy Taffy. I think there's usually puns in there. Let me, get, let me check. There's usually a pun. Or maybe I'm wrong. Okay, so the pun is, what gets wet while it dries? Where's the answer? Answer. A towel. Very clever. <laughs> so Laffy Taffies are fun. Thank you so much, Francesca. This is going to keep me chubby. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This is going to keep me on my sweet tooth on, in check. So I'm going to keep these here because they're good. And I love Laffy Taffies so much. So thank you so much to everyone who took the time to send me something. And of course, once I get the information, I'll leave them in the description box below. And for those of you wondering, my mailbox is closed. I have so many packages to go through that just even thinking of opening a PO box right now will not happen for a while. Maybe at 500,000 subscribers, I haven't decided yet, but then again, that's in a while. Right now, I want to focus on everything that people sent me now. And if you did send me something, it will for sure be opened on camera. Just please be patient. I am doing my best to upload as often as possible on, <laughs> on Mondays. Of course, I appreciate you guys. I love you and I will see you on Thursday. So here's the PBO watercolor swatches and I'm actually really happy with them. I don't know why. I've heard people say that they weren't pigmented enough and to be honest, I really think they're more than enough pigmented. I just need to learn how to control them. And other than that, look how gorgeous they look. So I'm super happy and really excited to work with them.